Being back in the day, listening to the screw and shit. reason why nice. beautiful love is here we want her to you know what i'm saying it's different sides to every story y'all may not understand but i'm gonna unmute you one second baby let me finish playing i want her to be able to you know Okay, so that concludes the TCAP for everybody that did not does not understand what we're doing tonight. So my goal tonight of bringing Beautiful Lovely here is I believe in giving everybody, you know what I'm saying, getting all sides of the story out. So I'm going to unmute you and I'm going to give you the floor. Um, Lovely, you can start it from wherever you want to start. But um, basically, if you want to kind of like explain, you're grown, shit. I can't force you to do anything. You get what I'm saying? So it's not no type of live like that. I know I hit you on the back end. You already know. But go ahead and, you know, take it from here. You got the floor. All right. So um, I know when I described my story with TKO, I said it was pure hell. But we also had a lot of good times. Um, sometimes I felt like I was in paradise. Like me and TK, we got a lot in common. We, we got a lot of the same taste in music. We used to go to the beach. We used to fall asleep on the beach. Like I had a lot of love for this man. This man, he taught me everything I know um, he taught me a lot, of, not everything I know, but he taught me a lot of things that my mother and father didn't have a chance to teach me. My mother was an alcoholic. 
she didn't care if I went to school or not. She 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 was jealous of me. Um, my father was in prison. So TKO took on that role as my father. Um, he taught me, he basically taught me things my father wasn't able to teach me. So I always looked at him as a father figure, a sick, a sick pedophile, a sick father figure. Um, he's not, he's not perfect. He's very crazy. He, he does need mental help, and I want him to get that mental help. But this this happened 12 years ago, y'all, when he did that to me. So I've talked to God. I'm very close with God. I'm very, um, very close with God. I'm very close with Jesus. So... TKO taught me a lot. Um, we we didn't only have bad times. We had a lot of good times. He was like, he was my second love. They say you have three loves in your life. He was he was my second love. They say the first love. Um, it's not real. It's, the second love is toxic. Right. No, I definitely understand. I get what you're saying with the second, the, the love thing. Okay, so as far as, not to cut you off, so I want to just make sure um, we getting through everything. So basically you're saying, like, in other words, let me ask you this. Is it valid to say that TKO has some type of, like, maybe, like, is it like a mental control that he still has he over you to no a certain extent or no? Okay. No. Got you. TKO lying me. I was drunk. Oh, I, was having, okay. I was having fun. Um, I'm a bean thought. So what y'all call it? I was in my bean thought mode when he lined me. I'm a I'm a Gemini, y'all. I'm a flirt. So I was in a flirty mood. Um. So when he lined me. I was in I was in that mood. I was I was in my flirty mood. I was drunk. Um my mind wasn't there. But I have forgiven TKO for what he's done to me. God told me I'm very close with God. God told me to forgive Capone. And I, I did forgive. But I know y'all are just now hearing my story. So I know y'all are just now experiencing my story. So I know that this is just hurt. It, I've healed from Capone. I've forgiven Capone. And I know y'all are just now hearing my story. So it's probably hard for y'all to forgive him like I have. Yeah, a lot and of people I'm, were moved by your story. Not to cut you, a lot of people were very moved by your story. And I think some people, just to speak for the for the people that's like the comments, the viewers that's on your side, they feel like, I guess they're having like a disconnect because they're like, oh my God, we were crying. We went through some of these similar things that you went through. And then they see you, you know, dancing, laughing with him. So do you kind of like, like, how do you feel like about that? Me, okay, me and Tekia Capone, we have a love-hate relationship. Like this man, he taught me, he taught me so much. Um, It's hard for me to just hate somebody. Like I'm an empath, I'm a light worker. I, it's it's hard for me to hold a grudge against somebody. Like I've already forgiven him for what he's done, and I know y'all are just now hearing my story. So, like y'all are just taking my story in. Like this stuff happened to me twelve years ago. I've already healed from that. I've already forgiven him. God told me to forgive him. And I had. But when he lined me, I was I was drunk. I'm a very flirty person. And when I called him daddy, um, 
TKO does not like women calling him daddy unless they're in a relationship. Me and TKO, we we like to play over the internet. We like to send a lot of sub subliminal messages towards each other. We've been doing this since Facebook. We've been doing this for 12 years. I always send subliminal messages to him. Me and TK have like a secret code how we talk to each other. So when I call him daddy, it was basically like a slap to his face. Cause he know he knows I'm not coming back to him. He knows I will never be with him. So when I call him daddy, I was basically clowning him in his face, but y'all wouldn't understand that because y'all don't understand how me and TKL interact. Okay, so when when you when you're lying with him in that moment, like you said, you he were lying, your, he lying me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He lying. He you. lying Thank me. you for clearing that up. So he, he me. I did not you. lie him. Okay. okay. But I so just, let me, I was just I was just curious. The only reason I accepted his line, I was just curious on what he was going to say. I was curious if he was going to apologize. I was, I was curious. I didn't know what was about to happen, y'all. And naturally, I'm a very flirty person. I'm a Gemini. I flirt a lot. I have a, I'm very, I'm sexual. I haven't, I can't help that I have a natural sexual aura to me to where I flirt with people. Um, when he lined me, I was like, finally, he's finally going to admit that he wants me back, that he stalks me, that he hires private investigators to watch me. When I go outside my house, there be people watching me. So I was, whenever I go live, people always come to my live and they bring TKO up and it triggers me to talk about him. So I was just trying to prove to y'all, I have a big ego, y'all. I'm a Gemini, but if any of y'all are into astrology, I got a lot of Leo in my chart. I got a lot of Aries in my chart. I got a lot of pride. I got a big ego. So I was just trying to prove to y'all that my ex did want me back. Because every time I told y'all my ex is obsessed with me, Every every time I told y'all my ex is obsessed with me, my ex want me back. He hires private investigators to watch me. Nobody believed me. So I just wanted to take that opportunity to let him show to y'all that he was obsessed with me. Right. No, I definitely And that's I'm, the I'm only just... reason I accepted his line. That was the only reason I accepted his no, line. No, no, no. I definitely I was trying to prove a point. But I shouldn't care what none of y'all think. Listen, listen, because this is a conversation between me and you. I don't want you to really be engaged in the comments. Not yet, like unless you want to, but you can turn the comments off. So listen, beautiful lovely. Let me ask you these questions. So I do want to just get more insight. So um, what do you have to say like to the people like, okay, so a lot of your supporters feel like, okay, oh my gosh, I guess they want insight on because you've been through this. So you, you were violated by this man. So how are you able to, I guess, stay on live? Hey, I'm coming home or like I daddy. Ne I never this said, and hey, I'm coming home. I just wanted him to admit that he wanted me. I never said, hey, I'm coming home. I said, I want you to admit that you miss me and you want me to come home. When I say come home, that's a pimp and whole terminology. That's something y'all don't understand. If you're not in the game, you don't understand what coming home means. That just means coming back to you. That's all that means. It's a pimp and whole terminology. All right, I got you. So, and I was listening. I was saying this morning. I'm like, okay. When I was boss reviewing life, the video, I'll beat the fuck out of you, ho. Boss life. Wait, boss life. In the comments, I'll beat the fuck out of you, ho. You don't know me in oh, real Lord. life, bitch. 
Come see me in real life, ho. Come up, I'll beat your ass. That's why TKL got you for 30000 within a month, oh, bitch. My. I'll beat the <laughs> fuck out of you, boss life. Keep talking shit to me, ho. Oh, shit. What's up? Be professional. What's up, ho? Damn, Charlie. Why is you? Like, oh, my God. My face, bitch. Where you at, Boss Life? Oh my goodness. I'm done. Where I didn't know Boss Life was in here. She in here talking hella shit. That's why that nigga got Where you at, girl? that would you teach you no type of game. Tiki taught me hella game, bitch. He ain't teach you shit, ho. Say that shit to my face, bitch. I really hate that y'all like the girls be in two with each other. It's like I don't know. It's like and TKO. I was on her I don't side. Know. I was on her side, but she in the comments talking hella shit. Bitch, I'll beat the fuck out of you, all. Come see Boss me in life, real where life, you bitch. at, girl? I don't see you. Come Type see me in real life, bitch. No, I don't want. I don't want no issues. I don't want no issues. Okay, so I feel like people do compare y'all situations. They compare you talking I, hella I, shit, bruh. They compare you and Boss Life because people say that Boss Life like um, Boss was Life. cool TKO with TKO after the situation. I paid anything, bitch. I ain't nothing like Boss Life. I see her. Cam up, see. bro. Don't get Boss scared Life. now, bitch. Okay, there she go. Boss Life, I don't want y'all to yell, though. That's not the goal, so... Don't you fucking play yourself when it comes to me. You want to take your first hold. You're a whack ass bitch. Bitch, you are fucking whack. Okay, I'm gonna give Boss Life the flu. I'm gonna let her respond real quick, lovely, and then I'm gonna let you go. And then I'm gonna undo both of y'all after. Go ahead, Boss Life. Look at this exercise, bitch, jumping to the motherfucking camera, talking about she gonna come see somebody, bitch. I wish you motherfucking would, bitch. When TKO motherfucking put your ass in the motherfucking trash, what the fuck you did? Use a piece of trash, bitch. Use the first motherfucking piece of trash TKO ever had, bitch. You a fucking hoe. You been a motherfucking three or four for 12 fucking years. Back and forth for TKO doing a, not a motherfucking thing, bitch. Where are you right now? At your motherfucking mama's house with your fucking son who's eight years old, asking for money on Beagle, bitch. What the fuck you gotta say now, hoe? Why are y'all beefing? No. I stay by myself, bitch. I pay my own rent, ho. You stay with your mama, bitch. Broke ass, ho. I'll beat the fuck out of you in real life, bitch. Who you fucking with? Bitch, you paid this nigga 30000 you stupid ass, bitch. He ain't teach you no motherfucking game. I gave 200 to TKO. That's all I gave him, bitch. Unmute that hoe. Beautiful, lovely. We all know who you are. You sat there with TKO for years, giving him a bunch of money, bitch. Who are you to tell anybody you gave That's him $200? All you did was give him money, bitch. Bottle. Don't, don't talk to me no type of way, bitch, because I ain't going to be going telling my That's story. Why That's why you ain't, ain't never going to be. Oh, I'm on mute. I got to let Boss Life respond. Dang, lovely. I just don't like when y'all get into it and then y'all say certain things because it's like, uh, it's showing. It's going to show a certain side. Like you said, that's why he beat her with a bottle. I don't know if I heard that right, but uh, the victim shaming on both sides, I just don't like it. And let me just let boss on go, child. Y'all got me stressed. Let me drink this Taylor Port. Listen, like I said, ain't nobody beat my ass. Keep pointing your fucking fingers at the screen, bitch. You came out here like a motherfucking weird ass, demonic ass bitch, dancing all in the motherfucking screen, bitch. Look at you. You're fucking sick as fuck, bitch. You need help. Bitch, you wouldn't sit in here like a clown ass bitch, asking people for money for your fucking son, bitch. You can't even get through. Sitting here talking about what the fuck I did with TKO. You sat by his side, bitch, for a long ass time, getting nowhere, talking about you was around the world, bitch. You're a fucking hoe. You used to do whatever you could do, bitch. You was on the motherfucking side of the road trying to get money, bitch. And you was mad because TKO had a fucking baby with someone else and she actually left him got an abortion bitch he didn't like you he liked the other bitch don't fucking play with me you over here talking about boss like this boss like that no bitch, bitch i ain't I'm never said boss, your bitch. name ho the only thing i said was you called the police you snitching ass bitch police ass bitch i'm from the hood ho we don't call the police where i'm from we take care of that shit ourselves ho <sighs> this nigga bought me a house. He bought me a dog. He took me everywhere, bitch. He gave me whatever the fuck I want. TKO do whatever the fuck I want, ho. The only reason...
Oh my God, y'all. This is too much. I know this is entertaining for the viewers, but I'm really like, listen, I'm going to unmute both of y'all and let y'all bang it out. But I'm very, uh, like, at the end of the day, I feel like Boss Life broke free. You broke free. Y'all both not with this man. Fuck this nigga. Fuck this bitch ass, clown ass nigga. I like, you get what I'm saying? And I get where you, I get it, lovely, but it's like, damn, sister. Like, you focus, like, it's a lot of positive. Like, I get that's your story. You saying he was this and that, whoop de whoop de woo. You had different privileges, but you still were, you know what I'm saying? You still know what it's like to be up under him. So, I just feel like ugh, the victim shaming on both ends. I don't know what Boss Life put in the comments, but damn, y'all. Oh, this is horrible. Okay, I'm going to let Boss Life respond. I'm going to unmute both of y'all. I feel like y'all young ladies, y'all can fucking talk. We're going to get some motherfucking Only straightening going this on. This bitch is a motherfucking coke test. That me. bitch was putting Only shit up her motherfucking nose bitch. the whole time she was with TKO. Talking about she was getting this, 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 and this, and that. Bitch, we bitch, we heard you talking about Armani. We heard you saying everything you wanted to say about Armani, bitch. You didn't like being there. Okay, so I see I got to guide this segment. So I'm going to ask y'all some hot questions because I want to get down to the root of y'all issues because I didn't even know it was no issues. So Boss Life, what made you, I guess, come in the comments and I think you tr maybe had triggered Lovely or said something? I don't know. I don't know. Don't say I'm starting anything. I didn't see it. So I'm just going off of what I kind of am catching. So what happened? Like, what's your change of things? Like, do you feel like it's when she lying TKO? Is it something about that, Lovely? Like, what, I mean, Boss Life, what no, happened? No, I'm just wondering why this girl sitting up here telling everybody she loved TKO. I forgive TKO. Nobody gives a fuck, bitch. We all heard everything you had to say, bitch. Take each your motherfucking words. That's it. You want to go to TKO house? Go to TKO house. Don't nobody want to sit here and support you. Um, Tracy, Tracy, baby, you just tuned in. This is the beginning. Everybody knows I'm very strategic. She's sitting right. up here looking hey, for here. forgiveness. Nobody See? told you to say nothing about... Don't nobody give a fuck okay, about on, TKO. Bossy. If I want to TKO, I could easily pack a bag and go to TKO. It's nothing, oh. No poly auditions, bitch. If I want my ex back, I can get my ex back to any second, any hour, ho. That's the difference between me and you. Y'all try to replace me. You will never be me, bitch. Tracy, listen. I don't go in when the comments tell me to go in. I go in when I want to go in. I'm my own person. Real Gemini shit, I do what I do. So I get what you're saying. I respect your opinion, but not too much on me. Let me run my show how I run it, baby. I said what I said. No disrespect. Moving on. Go ahead. Oh, my God. Son. TKO, first mental pa patient just came in the picture. <sighs> Jesus. No, y'all. Okay. All right, so I got to I gotta do a recap, um, and then I'm going to unmute both of y'all, because I feel like a lot of people don't understand what's going on. They don't understand why the views um, feel some type of way and probably why um, Boss Life has even said anything. You get what I'm saying? Like, it just seems like it's a common thing with this. Um, with you lying and TKO, it's, I mean, not you lying, and Lord, Charlie is the Taylor Port. With TKO lying and you and you accepting it, and you dancing for him and stuff like that, it just kind of caused a disdain for a lot of people. I'm going to unmute you real quick. But what do you, do you, like, I just honestly want to make sure everything is okay with you because I feel like mental health is very serious. And a lot of people are, like, joking on the fact. They're saying, oh, my gosh, she's off, she's this and that. Y'all don't ever know what people are going through. So let me, all jokes aside, let me let you clear that up and address that. Like, do you have anything to address to the people that's saying, Oh my gosh, she's mentally this and that. Like, what do you have to say to that? Kind of give us a, a little bit of clarity. Um, the reason I lied, uh, I accepted TKO's line was because whenever I'm live, people always mention TKO on my live. I was just going live, having fun, dancing. And people always mention TKO on my live, and it triggers me. And I be like, TKO is obsessed with me, y'all. TKO is still in, he's still in love with me. He still stalks me to this day, and he will not leave me alone. And nobody believes me. So the only reason I accepted TKO's line 
was because I wanted him to finally admit to the world that he's obsessed with me. And he basically said that. He was like, you're the only girl that ever listened to the music I listen to. He's trying to turn shells into me. He's try- he been trying to replace me for years. And I know y'all think I got a big ego. I got a lot of pride and I do. That That's my dark side. I do got a big ego. I do have a lot of pride. So when TK aligned me, I'm a Gemini. I'm curious. I wanted to know what he was going to say. I wanted to know if he was going to apologize. Sister, it's who you are. It's not don't, It's not about the Zodiac, but I'm not to cut you off. It's about who you are, period. Like, stand on it. I, I was just, I was curious to what he was going to say. So that's the only reason I accepted his. I called TKO daddy because TKO does not like when women call him daddy unless they're in a relationship. So basically, when I called TKO daddy, it was like a slap to his face. It was like, I'm going to call you whatever the fuck I want to call you, nigga. It was a slap to his face. Like, me and TK always give each other subliminal messages. We've been doing this for 12 years. So whenever I talk to TK, right. we talk in a certain type of code. Um, So whenever I called him daddy, it was like a slap to his face. But I understand that y'all won't get that. So I get I I, I I understand what you're saying, but I just feel like okay, so this is my question for you. So during that line, do you feel like I get that you had a point in accepting it and you wanted to show that he still wants you, but do you understand that it's the reason why he lined you? He lined you for a reason, baby. He was manipul like he was trying to prove that your story is not as I'm not gonna say bizarre, but as not as deep. I understand, as, but I was you get what I'm trying to say. Like, I was never that was boss life in Korea. I was never planning on telling the police. I'm from the hood. We handle stuff ourselves. Like I don't go to the police. Sister, but he made it's, you look. He tried to make you look crazy. Is what I'm saying. He tried he to did. play in your face. If I, that makes sense. Yeah, I do understand that, but I was extremely toxicated. So I didn't have a chance to think of that. I I was off of 20 beers. Like I was fucked up. And um the thing is I, I, I get that sis, I, but it's I different. I really wanted my like um I got sister, a lot sister, of- sister, 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 not to cut you off. It's different ways, even in the hood, it's hood justice. So I understand what you're saying by the hood, but I'm even from the hood. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. I don't know if you know about it, but watch First 48, child. Um, Most of the episodes is Detroit and Kansas City. Anyways, um, so in the hood, it's hood justice. So I just feel like I get what you're saying, but oh my gosh, girl, it's like it's a rebuttal. I got a rebuttal for everything you're saying. Like, you get what I'm saying? And it's not a shot at you. I just won't. I want to ask the tough questions. So I want to make sure, you know what I'm saying? You're clearing up everything that you can. So do you understand why people feel like your story is not credible anymore? Because there's, there's a lot of people are saying, oh my gosh, she couldn't have been R-worded because I've been through this and I could never, or this happened. I've never, I'm not a survivor of the R-word. I've been molested. I've I've shared my story before, but I am a vic- I am a survivor of sexual abuse in some form. So I will say that, but I don't know what it's like to be R worded. I know this is a trigger, so I don't I don't want to trigger nobody in here. Sorry, but this is real and raw and uncut. So I just want to see how you feel about that. Like, what do you have to say about that? I guess. Um, the thing is, me and TQ. We have not always had a bad relationship. Um, we, me and T. Kill, we got along very good. He, it took him a whole year before he even put a hand on me. So I was deeply in love with this man. And it's, it's very hard for me to just hate somebody. I know y'all are full of hate. 
Y'all are stubborn. But I'm an empath. I'm a light worker. I'm very forgiving. I'm very submissive. And it's hard for me to just hate somebody. So I was just trying to be cordial. At that moment, I was just trying to be cordial with my ex. And I know that might have pissed a lot of y'all off, and I'm sorry for that. But my story was true. Everything I told y'all was true. I would never lie to y'all. I'm very real. I'm very blunt. I'm an no. asshole. Yeah, listen, and people just really, really, really connected with your story. And I think that's where the disconnect is. That's where a lot of people are looking at you sideways in my JT voice. Bitch, I ain't friendly. I don't fuck with y'all, bitch. Okay, let me be serious. I'm sorry, y'all. It's a teleport. But um, on some serious shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, all of us kind of side-eyeing um, the situation. But I just wanted to be an unbiased platform. So we can do an open dialogue because I believe in mental health. I believe in, you know what I'm saying? If somebody, you know what I'm saying, may be going through something, I just want to make sure everything is good. So you did say you good. It's just a situation where you have a past with this man and you're saying like you have special privileges and this and that, but that's not love. And I hope I get what you're saying, but I hope you know that. I know that you was in quote unquote in love with him. But baby, when you find real love, you're going to know that that was not love. He is a manipulation thing. And my thing is, I guess what a lot of people are saying is if you're a survivor, stand on being a survivor. Stand on it on all 10. So I think you just, I get, I'm glad you're taking accountability. You let a lot of women down, a lot of women that were on your side. So I'm going to do an open dialogue, an open Q&A. Y'all be nice to her. Uh, I mean, don't. I ain't saying pacify her. We all grown. Just keep it raw and uncut, but communicate as an adult is what the fuck I'm saying. I'm going to unmute everybody. Let's go. All right, here we go. I I don't want hey. nobody's attention. I don't want I don't want nobody's sympathy. I didn't ask for y'all money. I just told y'all my story. And I told y'all to stay away from TKL. And I think y'all are taking this a little too far just because I lying with, I mean, he lying with me, and I was cordial with him. It doesn't mean that nothing I said was not true. Everything I told y'all was true. My story was true. But I, I had to go through a lot of healing. I had to, I've cried for months. Like, it took me, it took me a long time to heal, y'all. But I'm Sister, but a good rebuttal to that is what they're saying. I get what you're saying. You were preaching to stay away from him, but they like, damn, how you preaching, telling us to stay away from this nigga? And you accept his line and you start dancing. And But again, y'all, she did clear. She said she was in her bean thought um, era. But go ahead, Tweet. You got a question? I, I was just I dancing heard. because I, I, just, I just liked the, the song. I was highly intoxicated, you guys. When you're intoxicated, you have demons that take over you. So I didn't know what I was doing. I was very, very drunk when I when he lied me. When I was live, I was doing my own thing. I was dancing. I was having fun. And I have a dark side to me. I'm not perfect, bro. And I have been drinking right now. I have. Um... Growing up, I was the ugly duckling. I was always casted out. I was always the quiet one. Tikio taught me, he, he taught me a lot. Um, I looked at I looked at him as a father figure. Like I know on this app he's a clown now, but when I first met him, he was very popular. He was very cool. Sister, sister, you listen. You done said he a daddy figure so many times. I understand that. He groomed you. He manipulated you. He still, it's, it's still an embedded, it's something embedded in your brain.
brain this. I get that y'all have some positive vibes, but it wasn't shit positive about that motherfucking situation. He's a fucking pimp. He played in your motherfucking face like you playing in our motherfucking face, sister. Don't play with us. I don't got no issues with you, baby, but I'm drunk all this TP and Charlie about to come out. Let me let me calm down and let me let unmute you uh, Cause let, let me talk first. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not, two, two different a, personalities in me. I know you, brother. Anyway, I'm I'm not here to bash you, beautiful, lovely. Um, what I want to say is, I think you need therapy because you truly haven't gotten over TKO because he was a father figure to you. I am That's over this nigga. I do not want my ex back. Please stop saying I want my ex back. I do not want this nigga at all. This nigga's a clown. This nigga's a faggot. I do not want a fucking low down ass nigga that wear weave and wear contacts. Stop saying I want my ex back. I do not want this fucking gay ass faggot. Stop saying that. Your your at your your response right there. How you got angry? The truth hurts, you baby. Keep saying I want this nigga. I do not want this nigga. Get that out your fucking head. My heart is taken. I have found true love. I found a nigga that would never put his hands on me. I have found true love. My heart is taken. My heart is taken. I do not want my ex back. I didn't mean to come up, Charlie. I put that on my son. I don't want my ex back. Stop Charlie, saying I want my ex back. Out. I promise you I huh? don't want my ex back. If I let want the other my side ex back, come I can out, have my really ex back. It now. It's nothing. It's nothing for me to get my ex back. I can easily just go to his house. It's nothing, bitch. Oh, man. I'm saying I want my ex back. Okay, okay oh, but, you, but you're screaming. You, hey, Charlie, keep baby. saying I want my ex, and I do not. Uh, uh, okay, beautiful, beautiful. Fucking, you're uh, beautiful. Uh, Beautiful. Can I say something oh, to you? I'm triggered because I lost an auntie to domestic violence. I watched you last night and you called that man daddy and you reminisced. My auntie is murdered. He reminisced. He up the no, memories. she never went back to him. Bring up Baby, the said, way you, you acted last night was unacceptable. You're sick and you playing in these people's face. It is people that is dead. Face, you're, yes, you are. And you're sick. I was sick. drunk as fuck. I was drunk as fuck. But you remember as what you've done. You know what you've done. I don't know where you're going. It might be that energy. I'm a natural flirt. I flirt with okay, everybody. We I don't believe everybody, you. daddy. Come it's to my life. You will see it. Come to my oh, life. Christy. I call everybody, daddy. I, a, bro. I got a question. I do not want my ex back. That nigga wears contacts and weave. That nigga is embarrassing me every day. Why do y'all think I want my ex back, bro? Okay. Okay, so let me... Because I'm forgiving. Let's reset real quick. Hold on. I'm going to give Lovely the floor, then I'm going to unmute both of you ladies at the bottom that have questions. So real quick, y'all, do me a favor real quick. Because this is a lot. Click the three lines for me. Somebody send a motherfucking DIY. Somebody send a motherfucking DIY right now. Click the three lines at the bottom screen and send a DIY. Let's go. Give me off of 187. I know I'm at my goal today, but why am I at 187? What the fuck? All right, go ahead, lovely. What you got to say? They said calling somebody that R word your ex is crazy. He is my ex, bitch. Do y'all know what pimp and whole relationships is like? Have y'all ever watched uh, top pimps on YouTube? They don't treat their hoes just like a bitch. That nigga treat me like I was his woman. Whenever you seen TKO, you seen me. We was together all day, every day. Sister, it's but what people are saying is that's not a... Like, I get what you're saying. He passed a... He, he groomed you. He ex. made it seem like... Right, but you're really... I get that, but it's it, looking back, it's really not that situation. He's a user. He used y'all. You know what I'm saying? He got something he is, out of it. That's not is, love. That's, that's not a right. It's, it's, it's not love. TKO is a narcissist. He does not feel love. But it was love when it was love when I was with him. Like it wasn't all hell. 
Like, we had some great times. We had great lives together. It's hard for me to just to hate a nigga that I used to be deeply, 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 deeply in Caribbean, love with, you can bro. Try, man. Like, I can't Caribbean. just hate a nigga. Yeah. Like, I'm very so, forgiving. Okay. I'm an empath. Mm -hmm. That's why I went back to him so many times. Right. I'm very right. forgiving. So, and I was... So, so y'all, to keep it moving steady, let me go ahead and let Caribbean ask a question. Go ahead, baby. Okay, so real quick. <laughs> it's I've been seeing this girl, and it's hard to have grace for her because a long time ago, I don't know if she remember me or not, but she was on here trolling, talking about some um, TKO was her father. I don't know if y'all remember that, but she was like, TKO is her father. And I came in the box and I'm like, what do you, why are you keep saying that TKO is your father? And she said, yes, this is, that's my real dad. That's my father. She was like, uh, she's the oldest daughter that he has. That's my father. Like, so that's what I'm saying. It's just like a different thing with her. I don't, that's why I said from the last time she was in your boxes, y'all gotta yes, you gotta do y'all gotta look into some shit with this one because it's different shit with this girl, <laughs> and it's hard to have base for her. And I know you are gonna get down to the bottom of it, Charlie. But I'm just her name I was to fill you in, baby. daughter. I didn't know that. Yes, mm, I had to fill new. you in on that. I had to fill you in on that. That's all I had to say. <laughs> no, I put T Kill's lost child. Um. Tikio did talk. He taught me a lot, y'all. He put me in a strip club. I don't know if y'all ever seen the Players Club. When you walk in a strip club, you go in as a girl, and when you walk out, you're a woman. Tikio put me. In, if it wasn't for Tikio, I would not be able to have this voice that I have. I would not be able to have this confidence that I have. So, sister, stop giving. TKO the motherfucking credit. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that cake a line, kinky twist, having ass nigga. Fuck him. Break that motherfucking trauma. I know it's easier said than done, baby, but listen, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start normalizing mental health. We're gonna start we're gonna start normalizing going to get therapy and get counseling. I want you to talk to somebody, love me. But real quick, baby, let me let me go ahead and let Brulele ask her question. And then my real blood cousin Tia is up here. This is my real cousin, y'all. I know we look alike. Y'all probably like, oh damn, that's the same face. I'm dead. But that's my real blood cousin. But anyways, back to the topic. Go ahead, Brule. Go ahead, baby. Okay, I don't know whether to laugh, cry, or beat your ass for real. Because the last <laughs> time that you was you was on this panel, I seen the whole like interview that he did with you and I could tell that you some of the stuff that you said did not have a lot of truth to it. And some of the stuff you said did have truth to it. But the clip that I seen last night with TKO just proves that you need help. And only you can get the help because nobody can tell you to go to a therapist and make you do it. But you need help. And you're saying you got like demons. I think that you are a demon. You like doing tarot and all this shit. You need to pray. Because you don't know if you his daughter, he your daddy. Like, daddies don't fuck their daughters. So, and that's sick. And you doing that with the cross, that's weird. Like, you need to get some help. I don't need no help, Seriously. Paul. You need help. Um, that's all I got to say. But, um, t uh, my father was in prison all my life. Tikio taught me how to drive. He told me basically things that you need in life. It's hard just to hate somebody who taught you so much. So when I when TK aligned with me and I was being cordial and I was being nice, I'm just a nice person. It's hard for me to be mean and full of hate like y'all. Y'all are stubborn. Y'all got a lot of hate in y'all heart. So she feel like y'all just don't understand. She basically saying she forgave him. But some people are saying, why did you come out telling this story about him R-wording you? And you know what I'm saying? Recently, and you, I don't know. I believe forgiveness is forgiveness, though. I can't fault nobody on that. But it's like you playing in our face to some degree. But what's up, cousin? Hey, do you got anything you want to say? Going. So I have 
a couple of questions. Can I chime in on your show today? Yes, cousin. All right, I want to chime in. So this is for Miss Beautiful Lovely. I have just a few questions because I've been watching. I've been tapping in these few days. And I just want to know, are you like, do you feel like you whole programmed? Because there is a such thing as being whole programmed where you yes, this man has been in your life. And I, I understand, I understand what you're saying as in like, that's my daddy. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe six to others, but you know what I'm saying? Three or four to three or four. I understand what you're saying as in a father figure as somebody that didn't teach you nothing. But however, do you feel like deep down in your heart? Do you really? I just I know these people on live, but deep down in your heart, do you really feel like that man really loved you? Or was you just looking no. for a father? Well, listen, as a female, because I'm gonna tell you this and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you a book, I'm gonna keep it G. You talking to a real hoe. I'm a real hoe. Stop down. There's nothing that a bitch can't tell me. I didn't had a herd of hoes. So there's nothing you can tell me. The rape part, I don't believe in that rape. Sometimes I give it to my nigga just to shut the fuck up. So let's be real on that. We'll do shit like that. But when other bitches come in the herd, it kind of fucks shit up. So however, but deep down in your heart, do you really feel like that was love? Or you just needed guidance at that time and you was living on survival? Because there's a difference, baby. Um, well, the thing yeah, about it, I don't, I, I don't hurt. know, I don't know if y'all heard my story. I grew up with a mother that didn't love me. I grew up with a mother that was jealous of me. She didn't care if I went to school or not. I wasn't that smart when I first met TKO. Um, I got kicked out of three schools. Be they told the principal called me and told me just don't go because I didn't go enough. I didn't go to school enough. I used to wake up late and I, I used to miss the bus and my mother wouldn't take me to school. So I always wanted to be rich or famous. I always wanted to be an actress and a rapper. And TKL was all about music. He was like, let's go to LA. Right, and so I he told you like, a dream. Baby, these I niggas feel like tell good dreams. Baby, my these only dreams way be out. sold. These dreams be getting sold, cuz. I'm telling you, baby, I've been there, done that seen that story, lived that chapter, but the only thing about y'all young motherfuckers is y'all come on live and let everybody know y'all business. Because, bitch, I didn't been with rappers that was fake rappers on the road, real rappers. There's nothing a bitch can tell me. You feel me? Where Did you have somewhere to go after you left? Because I ain't gonna lie, that'd be the most traumatic part. After you and the nigga break up and you ain't with him no more, you gotta find your own way, your own money, that mean vengeance. He, he left. He that left mean me vengeance. This bitch, I did it. I made. I made this man so much money, y'all. I made this man over a million dollars, and he left me with nothing. I had to go back to my mom's house, and um, I don't think it was love, cause narcissists they don't feel love. They don't know what love is, and I think he's a he's a narcissist. He's a sociopath, and I know he he needs a lot of help. He has okay, a lot so of now at this issues. point, I feel like at this point now you need help. I do. I do have an anger issue. I do have a lot of stuff I've been through besides TKO. I've been through a lot of domestic violence, not just TKO. My baby daddy almost choked me half to death. My baby daddy used to beat my ass all the time. Like I've been through a lot of um abuse in my life. So, like, I, I, didn't, I didn't feel like he really loved me. I think he's obsessed with me. I think it's a right. difference. Right. I'm with this. That's the point. Like, this this is where you learn. So, at, when all else fails, at the end of the day, you had to go back home. To I your don't want to go back home. home. I was just but it is not what you want. Ego. Sometimes what you want Listen, y'all, listen. Whenever I said, whenever, when I was lying with him, and I was like, I just I want you to. I just want you to admit you miss me, and you want me to come back home. That that's a pimp and whole term. 
Like, I was not saying that to go home. I would never, I mean, I would never go back to TKO. What does that home. mean in the pimp and hoe culture? Because y'all know I'm great. It just means kinda... going back to you. It just means going back to you. That's all it means, <laughs> getting back together. Okay, so oh, what man. was the feet to come back home? Like, was there a but I was just, no, Because listen, you said you gave listen. this man a million dollars. A million dollars listen. is wicked. Listen, can y'all listen? Can I, can I talk? Can I explain my side of the story? I have a big ego. I have a lot of pride. I like I like for my ego to get boosted. So it doesn't matter if you're my mother, my father, the neighbor. That's my dark side. I like to be praised. I have a lot of Leo in my chart. I like to be praised. So I wanted TKL to show me that he wanted me back just for my just for an ego boost. Just for the clarify, because everybody, I be going live and don't nobody believe me when I tell y'all my ex be want me, my ex want me back. Don't nobody ever believe me. So I was just trying to prove a point. I was just trying to prove a point, and it went left. It went totally left, and everybody now everybody don't believe me. Now everybody think I'm playing in y'all face. I'm not playing in y'all face. I'm telling y'all the truth. Everything I tell y'all is the truth. I do have a dark side. I just wanted him to tell me he missed me and he wanted me to come back home for an ego boost. Sis, I'm glad you admitted it, though. You do. Listen, we all have our dark ways, but you have to believe she in wanted, talking to people. Mental health is serious. She, really, she wanted to go back home. Oh my god. No, I did not want to go oh, back home. Oh, see, you're clocking. This man. I don't want a man that wears contacts and we. When I met but you, you did yo, in the beginning. He, my blood he, he, his hair he, in the he did not wear contacts every day. He was not a clown like this. This nigga embarrassed me every day. Charlie, it's no I shake. Can you mute her? Man. She can say the same shit over me. and over. Just mute her. She's drunk every night. She's drunk. We just gotta mute her. She's K-K, saying the same bitch, shit. Her, She's Charlie. demonic. Bitch She's doing like fucking voodoo on every motherfucker. Keep this bitch out. Damn, yeah. y'all. Okay, y'all can convey y'all message. Hey, Boston girl, we already seen your big titties in the fucking camera. Boston, don't run, ho. Before I downgrade you from Boston to motherfucking South Carolina, ho. Hey, girl. Hey, Boston. I'm, I'm a kind person, y'all. I'm very sweet. I'm very innocent. Growing up, I was always the quiet one. I was like, um, how do I describe myself? I always went to new schools. My mom always moved me around. I was basically like Lindsay Lohan and Mean Girls. I was always so, a sweet, sis, sweet person. Would you agree to people say that you were like a madam? Do you kind of agree to that? Because you were his bottom bitch. Like, how do you feel about that? People say I was that. like I was like a madam, and he he taught me his ways. He taught me how to be like him. Me and TK have a lot in common. We so like my cousin chem- said, you're a whole program. So how do you deprogram the whole program? Like, that's what I'm wondering. How do you um, turn it off? Well, I, I pray every day. Um, I talk to God. I ask for forgiveness for what I've done. But I'm, I'm a very sweet person, y'all. Like, it's very hard for me to say no. It's very hard for me to be mean to people. I'm not a mean person. It's very hard for me to be mean to anybody. Like, I love all of God's children. I believe we all deserve equal respect. I know I know TKO has been through a lot in his childhood. Beautiful. I, I, have, been... I have a question. Hold, hold back your tears for a second, sweetheart. Um, if you can, if you can, I have a question. So you came and you mentioned that, you know, I just wanted to see if he missed me and I just wanted to see if he was going to admit that. Right. Did he ever answer your question? Did he ever admit like, did he, did he answer your questions? He just, he said, he said, you are the only girl that ever listened to the music I listened to. I always wanted quality. Over That's quantity. that manipulation. Right. You still and like, believe in I that shit? 
Y'all think right? I'm so, good. so y'all think so I'm beautiful. So and this is why. Hold on, so just stupid. calm down I'm for a second. Just breathe. Think. I'm very so. Smart I'm trying. I'm trying to convey something to you. So by him not answering your questions <laughs> with a with a general yes or no, it is is and he he directed it to like you are somebody that I missed. Everybody told me it he was, was him. In there gloating about it. TK, okay, y'all. I went on TK's Charlie, live the other day. I went on TK's live. But he the other didn't day. answer your question. See, this is what I wanted to see. I this is what I wanted question. to. This is what I wanted you to realize. He never answered your question. He all he did was plant a seed. Why did he lie to me? Yes, why all he, he did was plant a seed. That's what niggas do. They lie. Beautiful. You learned why did you lie to me? Yes, all he did yes. was plant a seed for you to continuously wonder and let things grow let me take and manifest. And that's, and that's called this. mind fucking. He was mind fucking you. Please. And just as well okay, as he I lied to you, he knew that you was going to accept that lying to continuously mind fuck you. He knows you that just you, got whole program. That's just right. all to it. You, got you know, but that's program. all I wanted to ask. But y'all, y'all, hopefully, not you realize that not he didn't even answer your I'm question. Saying, I'm he didn't answer I your question, question beautiful. For you, Ms. Lovely. I'm not have you, saying that. Have you took time to reflect on I yourself? Took hella time. I cried for months, bro. Like so I'm over. I'm over. May I ask? Man. How, I how not you want need, How you man, doing, y'all? Charlie went to go take a bathroom break. He be back. Miss Unique, you got something to say? Oh, she put herself on mute. We'll put yourself on mute. Okay, but this is me and Miss. I don't know how these people getting in these boxes. So, how long has it been since you've been gone? I've been gone since um 2018. You talking That's about some shit from six years ago? Yep, and I don't understand why people still think I want him back. It's been years since I've been with him. I do not want him at all. Right. Like, a, it's been six years ago, baby. That shit was yesterday was done for me. It ain't been a I'm couple a, of months. You you had more time to reflect. What are you doing with your life? What are you doing do with your life care now? I don't about this nigga. I have a son. My son is in first grade, but he takes fourth. He takes third and fourth grade reading and math. My son is number one in his class. I am not focused on this nigga. I was on my own live, being a bean thought, dancing. This nigga lying me. I was like, let me take this opportunity to prove to you niggas that my ex want me back. That was my ego. That was my pride. I was trying to prove to y'all that my ex wanted me back. Why is he lying to me? I was trying to prove to y'all that my ex stalked me every day. I was trying to prove to y'all that my ex hired private investigators to watch me. Whenever I come outside, it's the same car every day watching me and following me. That's the only thing. It was my pride and my ego that allowed me to accept the line. That is the only reason. I am a naturally flirty person. I flirt with everybody. I call everybody daddy. And me calling TKO daddy was a slap to his face because he don't like being called that unless we're in a relationship. So I was I was basically talking shit to his face. But y'all would never understand that because y'all don't know how me and TKO talk. That's what I was trying to do. So y'all Okay, so understand. have you moved on since then? Because I you're talking about moved on. My heart six is taken by ago. a whole nother. I got a whole basketball player in the fucking industry. Like, my heart is taken, bro. I got a big basketball player. My heart is taken, bro. Hey, Charlie. I do not want my ex back at all. And I wish y'all so would stop you still like. This nigga's a are faggot. you still reminiscing? You like triggered? Because why head. are these people? This nigga wears hair weave and contacts. I do not want this nigga. Please stop saying I want this nigga. I don't. And I tried. I told my story to warn women about him. Just because I was being cordial with him does not mean I want. My bad, y'all. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Commercial break. <clears throat> Y'all, make sure y'all share this live. Double tap the screen. Welcome to Beautiful Lovely Speaks, Charlie um, After Dark. 
we were doing a Q and A with Beautiful Lovely. So if y'all don't know what's going on, Beautiful Lovely um, is one of the girls that I interviewed uh, with the Surviving TKO panel. And a lot of people are upset with her because they feel like she told her story. They were moved, they were crying. It was like 12, 13,000 people on the live. And um, a lot of people were gall um, rallying up to support her and they felt like she played in their faith because she, um, she accepted a line from TKO last night and she was doing that dance that she's doing right now for that man. But um, anyway, y'all, give me to 1K. Make sure y'all follow everybody. This is my real cousin, Tia Bia. Make sure y'all follow her. I know the genes, the genetics, but y'all see that, bitch, I ain't lying. That's my cousin. But um, what was I saying? Oh, can somebody hit the three lines and send a DIY? I'm sorry. Okay, let me unmute the panel. My bad. Hey, Charlie. Hey, too. Oh. Um, Charlie, really quick, and I'm going to get down. I really do feel like she is a um, prime example of Stockholm Syndrome, where instead of fearing her, um, her abuser, she's grown to feeling a sense of humanity and compassion for him. And because the reason why I still stuck on her, she's never gotten, I'm pretty sure she's never gotten therapy or any type of help for everything that she went with him. You know, with him already telling, she's told us like he taught her how to drive. He's had her since she was a child, you know, groomed her and took her all the way through the street. So she think what she's thinking is normal. When she doesn't feel like it's out of place. So until she actually goes and sit down and go through therapy, She's she's gonna be stuck in this. I do believe her story. I believe she went through it, but she doesn't understand like her compassion and her her humanity. That's a coping mechanism. Yeah, you defending your offender. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Charlie. Uh -huh. Good show, Charlie. Have I you been talking to TKO on the back end? Can you be no, honest? I you? have not okay. been. I don't talk to TKO. I don't like TKO. I think TKO is a monster and he really needs therapy. He needs mental help. He has an issue. But me, I'm just a very nice, sweet person, y'all. I'm very submissive. Um, It's very hard for me to be mean to anybody. It doesn't matter if you're my abuser. It doesn't matter who you are. It's very hard for me to be mean to anybody. I mean, all right, hey y'all, so mean. You need to work on that. You gotta work on that, cause bitch mode need to kind of pop in. I know. I do Most need to definitely. work on that. I do. That that is a problem that I have, and I am working on that. Cause being the yes man. So I got a, so I got a question, right? And so it's very you said hard you was for a Gemini? me to say no. I am a Gemini. Yes. All right, so are you Gemini right also, now? Because it seems like you Gemini in real can. hard. Y'all, can we start like, I feel blaming like, the Gemini? Nah, nah, I don't feel like Gemini. we too many I'm heads a, I'm a, No, listen, I'm a, I'm a Gemini, so that's that's why I'm but that's why I'm asking because chart, we do like, have Armani, we do Armani have those Leo, traits, y'all. I'm very loyal. I have a big heart. I'm very forgiving. I believe in God. I follow God. I read the word every day. It's very hard for me to stay mad at somebody. But at the and same time, know, this stuff queen, you have to have spirit of discernment. Ago. So I just pray that you that have too, discernment to know when somebody playing in your face because he played in your motherfucking face. Period. Right. And you can't he play, play mind, you can't play face, mind games with somebody who already does that, who already alcohol. has you under control. <laughs> I was under the influence on, now, of alcohol. Guys. Yes. I was in my bean thought mode. Um I'm s I, 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 I don't know. Oh Lord, KK. I'm sorry, baby, because I don't want no drama. Like I want an open dialogue. Okay, so um he a bit asking my cousin. Y'all saying we act just like baby. It's the I'm blood a very light. nice person. I'm very nice, y'all. I would, I would give, I would give, I would give my last to anybody. I'm somebody send me some beans. Thank you for the beans. Then my cousin some beans, y'all. This is my real cousin. But um, okay. So beautiful, lovely. Is there anything that you want to set the record straight? Like a lot of people saying, okay, you lied about the R word. Like, does that make your story not credible? But, like, what do you have to say? But when I was that? on live, when I was on live with TKL, I told y'all I didn't lie, and he did not deny anything. 
when when I when TK lied me, I said I'm not. I didn't lie about my story, and TK did not deny anything. He did not say it was not true. I would never lie to any of you about my story. I would never incriminate myself. Y'all know how many years I can get for lying. Oh Jesus! Wait, just let me ask you this real quick. Before when you came on the beginning of the year, right? And you said this story. You was mad because you thought that he owed you money. So the car that he was driving, you thought that was supposed to be yours because of the money that you made him. Is this what is triggering I, you? I, I, I still think he owe me money. Like, I hate when he spend money on a bitch and he don't send it to me. Like, I made this nigga hella money and he don't even support me. He don't send me no gifts. He couldn't even help me out when I needed help on my bills. So, yeah. Red flag. And I, I, I hate this nigga, y'all. We have a love-hate relationship. Like, this man taught me a lot. We had a lot of great times, but we had a lot of hard times. And the times that he put me through hard, I hate him. In the times that he put me through love, I love him. But I wanted to tell my story to warn women to stay away from him. And when he <laughs> lied me the other day, just because I was being cordial with him does not take away from my story. My story was real. My story was true. Your story, your story is definitely real. I feel like every woman's story is real. I don't think anyone's lying. And thank you, Charlie, for giving them a platform. But I feel like lovely. We have you. Korea, boss life. There's so many women, but when are any of you going to do something about it as far as bring him to justice, the court system, um, jail, anything like, and beautiful. And I, and I'm getting tired of people saying, Oh, I don't, I don't like the cops or I don't want to go to the cops. It's like, come on, we can hear your story. We can spread awareness through, through people who have big platforms like Charlie but when are you women going to do something? Because we can hate him for you. We can troll him. We can get him removed from social media. But what are you going to do to uh, on your just, end to get I this just, man off I the street? I just need help, you guys. I'm not. I'm not that smart when it comes to dealing with police. Yeah, she. I'm not that smart when it comes to point. dealing with the government. I've asked for help many times. I said, "Can y'all help me get a lawyer?" I asked y'all for help. I'm not good when it comes to that type of stuff. I didn't go to school. I don't know all that paperwork and stuff. I did need you at least help. file for a restraining order? You Ooh. said that he got P.I. I, 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 I do need a restraining order. I do. I do. So you feel like you still need a restraining order six years later? I do. I feel she like said she's still being stalked. Y'all hit the I three lines at the bottom of the screen. Send a DIY. Go ahead, I'm sorry. So why haven't you took precautionary steps to go to the police station if I were? Um, um I just I have a lot going on, y'all. I'm a producer, I'm a I'm a I'm a editor, I'm a show I just got a lot going on. I don't have time. I'm I'm lazy, I'm lazy. That's, that's that's not that's my girl, I'm lazy. Not, now, now, girl, that's not no excuse. Now that's I'm not lazy. no goddamn life and death, sister. Oh my sister, I'm, you gotta I'm not lazy. be lazy. I'm, I'm lazy. going to the police. I'm sorry. If my I'm life lazy. is that much, I asked I, ask I, I, I asked Korea. To, I asked Korea to be my manager. I asked Korea to help me. I'm lazy. I'm lazy. Girl, I'll That's be your manager because they I'm not lazy. manager. I'm a very sweet What nice you person. need managed? Because they I'm not managing everybody. I, I grew up going to see my dad in prison every day. I mean, every weekend. I grew up going to, I grew up with the police. I don't like police. I don't like dealing with government <laughs> shit. I, I Me love neither. nature. I love nature. But if my life shit. on the line, I'm going. And if I feel like you stalking me that much, I got something for you. Whoever walk up on me, or feel like you stalking me. Baby, you might need to go get you some protection. And I'm not talking about a condom. Now, however. <laughs> I feel y'all. I, yeah, I know y'all see I got a, a lot of excuses. Um, 
and I, I apologize to y'all. Um, but sister, we're not here to bash I, you. We just want you. We just we looking at you I'm as our a, like our sister. We want you young. to, yeah, we want you to do better and just make better choices. And Tia speaking from experience, like I said, I just, this I is my just OG cousin. So I just want to ask y'all for coming. help. And what next step should I take? Can y'all just I'm help just me? Speaking I'm, as, not... I'm speaking as a former abuser, a former victim, a former hoe, a former G out here. Been there, done that. I'm just speaking for self. I had a man send pictures of me with guns saying he was going to come kill me. He had his friends like, talking. When I, when I was with TK and he <laughs> R-worded me, I forgot to even mention he had a whole AK-47 in his lap. Like he used right, to always, saying. Sometimes he used to always hold the gun up to out me. of fear. Hell yeah, I'm a. It, and sometimes we say it's not right because it was willingly. And I do believe that with some females because niggas be acting, you know, tender dick. I will say that. I'm not lying to y'all. I promise, but I'm not lying to y'all, bro. It may not seem like rape because you're still defending your offender. You feel what I'm saying? You still I'm not you defending still, him. I'm just telling y'all my story. I'm just telling y'all my story. I'm telling y'all everything that happened. I'm trying to tell y'all every single detail. I'm not lying to you guys. I know I was being cordial with him and I was dancing. I was really intoxicated, y'all. Beautiful, lovely. You got to let that love go because you still uplifted him and he was a monster in your past. Once he you get up a to a certain age. And I tell y'all that. I keep telling y'all. I get he's it, a but as in the same sentence. He was your daddy. He was this and that because you didn't have a daddy. You you come you from like it's a situation. You was molded and you was home yeah. <laughs> You was looking for a daddy in a way, if that makes yeah. sense. She was hey, looking Tia. for love. Hey, yeah. Tia. How you doing? And I'm back. Hey, I'm back. Um, beautiful, lovely. I just want to say this is you. You pissed me off because I know about this too personally. So I'm gonna come at you another way. Beautiful, lovely is sitting here looking like a survivor, not a victim. You have been a victim for years. When are you gonna turn this into a victory and move on with your damn life? You have a kid. You keep it's like playing a broken record. You cannot live in the past. The past will have you on drugs, crazy, mentally, and delusional. There's no such thing as living in the past. You are constantly in present, moving into the future. We are tired. You called him daddy last night. Obviously, you're not that hurt. You gotta well, cut I this story. You, but beautiful, lovely, hold space. on. You said you were producer. Him daddy to hurt him oh, beautiful, he don't like lovely, being called daddy. beautiful, lovely. You said that you was a, a bean thought, you a producer, you a rapper, uh, whatever other the, the entrepreneur, right? Move on with your life. You're up here looking, you keep looking for sympathy. It's not gonna help you move on. TKO ate some nasty, shitty Mexican food just now, laughing with another female. You got to I'm move on, on cause he don't, don't care. He's somewhere back. laughing. Please. Please stop saying I want my ex back. I do not want TKO. TKO is a monster. TKO is a faggot. TKO yeah, is a download right nigga that wears contacts and weave. He's a clown. He's embarrassing me. I don't even know if I want to claim this nigga no more, bro. But y'all just every time I go live, people always mention his name. Every time I go live, y'all always mention his name, and it triggers me to talk about him. And when I talk about him, I say. Yeah, my ex want me back. And they be like, mm, that nigga don't want you back. He got a whole baby. I'll be like, I promise you he want me back. So I was just trying to prove a point that my ex want me back. That was all I was trying to do. I was trying to the boost only, my ego. I was trying to boost prove. my pride. I just think that people saying you didn't have to go that far. Like, okay, you could have accepted the, the line, the you grown, but when you danced for him and you did all that. I had 20 beers. Ooh. Oh my god, I was 20. fucked up. I could barely take three and I got a deep. Well, throw. you know what? I got, I got I'm a sorry. Tight no, that was an inside thought. There's no statute of limitations to the R word. You know that, right? So the way you can get back at him is help other victims and get him arrested. Not uh, you know what I'm saying? And get, getting a box line in him, letting him make a fool He's of you. That's me. not a way. That's not the way. There's real he victims on this me. app. I was on my I know own that. Life, That's what I said. Having fun doing my own thing. He lying me. 
And I was curious to what he got to say. I didn't know if he was about to apologize. I didn't know what he was about to do. So, so where I do we go curious. from here? Where do we go from here, everybody on the panel? Cousin, tweet, beautiful, lovely. Like, what would be the okay, best advice just, to give I this young lady? Help. Like, I, I need help to know what to do. I don't know what to do. So can y'all I told y'all I'm lazy. I told y'all I don't woman. like dealing with police. I don't like dealing with government. And I just, I just need somebody to come help me with all that, and then I can sign the paperwork, and we can, we can handle it. But I don't want no so, women with TKO. I don't, I don't. So basically, TKO you need to get with Korea. Person, basically, you need to get on board with Korea and Boss Life, and, and y'all are better to get together than just one person or two people. Everybody, there's gonna be some more victims come out. There's already been some more, but he gonna have some right there in that house that's gonna eventually come out. So get with Korea, get with Boss Life, and instead of fighting each other, come together. I don't know and why get Boss this Life man was coming arrested. at me tonight. I don't understand why she came at me tonight. That shit was there weird as not, fuck. I think she did that, that for there's statue of limitations. There's no statue of limitations on the R word. You could have got it done at three oh and you can become an adult no and you can oh, no mean. look it up what? there's not one i do not want my ex y'all i promise y'all i have a whole nba the people player hide, right. it, hide it in my heart is taken okay i do not want tko at all if so i want to kill I'll, I'll just go back to him. Have, it's, it's have you tried therapy? Not saying you're crazy. I'm not saying that. But I have haven't. You tried I, need therapy? Ther I do need therapy. Um, Can y'all help me with that? My mom signed me up for anger management. I, I haven't took anger management classes. I haven't had time. I'm very busy. Yeah, girl, there's even therapy classes. Even if you're busy, you can even do therapy on your phone. On Virtually, Zoom, yes. you know, Zoom. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I yes, agree sir. with uh, one lady that came up. I believe that this is definitely Stockholm Syndrome. Like, I don't believe she's lying. I just believe she's caught in the era, and she really don't know how to get out of the Twilight Zone. And a lot of people are bashing her, and that does not help the situation. I mean, if you can't help her, then I'm not going to bash her, because I wouldn't want it to happen to my I child. I didn't even know I could do therapy on my phone. Like, y'all got to put yeah, me she on probably, she I don't know, even know all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so, so somebody Tia, email her on the back end, message her on the back end. Tia, you seem just, to be the best person for the job. I just need y'all to help me when it comes to police and when it comes to government type stuff. I'm lazy when it comes to that stuff. I'm not. I mean, you the hero. You need to block him. Period. You need to block him. Um, step one. I need to block, block him. So hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Let okay, me ask this I will, question. I will block him. So yes, definitely block him, sis. But I'm wondering, like, what? Because, like y'all said, y'all heard my cousin. She didn't explain. She done been through each road. Cousin was the abuser, the abuse, the pimp, the motherfucking how. Y'all heard her, period. Okay, so what's some advice you can give her? Like, what would you say? Do you think she's lying? Like, from experience, like, what do you feel? I don't feel like 100% she's lying. But, however, I do feel like she's still stuck in the past, which if you have insurance, you most definitely can see a counselor. You most definitely can get you a check in your nearest state where you live for mental issues, you know, and really get prescribed the right medicine and the right medication that you need. Um, also, but I feel like another thing is, me when I when me and somebody break it's blocked. Is there's nothing to be said? I'm not trolling you. I'm not looking at your shit. You're not looking at my shit. You're a hundred percent blocked. There's nothing. There's you. You are dead. When you leave somebody, you are literally saying you are dead, and I'm comfortable with that. Like you're dead. You're dead to me because you're still giving ammunition to the fire for them to come back. You still playing. These are toxic games y'all playing. Yeah, I, I'm showing you. I, I do, got. I do like to yeah. play a lot of mental games, y'all. I do like to play a lot of games. Um, that's that's another dark side to me. I'm not perfect. Feeling like that should have been me, baby. It's it should not have been you. If it's more victims saying I'm fucked up too, so obviously everybody fucked up along the lines. If if that's if they that fucked up and it's more people saying that this person is fucked up. 
There's no way you would have any at all. I wouldn't be trolling you. I wouldn't be trolling your bitches. None of that. Because you're still got, you still had this, you still live in the thought. You still live in it. If something is dead, it's dead. Right. Like, I haven't blocked Right. It seems exes. like an obsession, but it's really, it's really traumatizing. She really still traumatized. I don't know if she's trying to figure out a new way of living because, as she's saying, this man has taught her everything. And some people right. really still be lost because you still need that guy. That love, but you're you talking still need some that real stuff here. Probably still don't have that till that day, and she feel like that's the best love and attention she ever got from a man. But that wasn't love; it was manipulation. It was exactly. self degrading. It degraded you as a woman. You lost your self value because now you don't even know how to make your own paper because you was giving him all your motherfucking paper. <laughs> Talk your stuff, Tia. I do know how to make my own paper, but, baby, but um. <laughs> You got one thing to fall back on, and that's your child. And like I tell any nigga that come my way, you got a pimp? Yeah, I got an eight-year-old child that's my pimp. My motherfucker kid get every quarter dime nickel that I have. So if you yeah, want to get yeah, my yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up. Child. I like your cousin, Charlie. She talking some real stuff. I love it. Okay. <laughs> I like your cousin, Charlie. Thank you for... um. <laughs> Cussing me out. Yeah, my but cousin a real one. Just me a real one. You may need to hit see you on the back end. I mean, real, real one. on the back I'm not going to go to dough with you. I know bitches down, play baby. whole games. They can play whole games. But I really wish it was females out here to help other females in uh, Instead of talking know, down domestic on violent them. relationships. And, yeah. you know, I really call it pimping and hoeing because a lot of people don't understand a pimp in a whole relationship. It's not like a regular relationship. So a lot mm. of people don't understand that. I do. A lot of people are not going to stand it like, oh, you could have left. Now you can't leave because this is where your money at. This is where your heart at. This is where your little stable at. I understand it. Damn. Totally do. But once you grow up and you realize like, what the fuck? I was on dope, bitch. What, what right. the fuck? Because right. bitch, you're going to be thinking... Bitch, you look dumb. When you look back, you're going to be like, man, right. I was a dumb ass That's why bitch. I never wanted to take pictures with him. That's why y'all would never see me with pictures of him. I was ashamed. Yeah. But I, I, could, I just couldn't leave for some reason. But I do know the reason, but I don't want to tell y'all because y'all ain't going to believe me. We know that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just what was TK doing in the dark? Let me finish Wait, shot. Yeah. What was he doing in the dark? What was he, was he doing in the dark? He worshiped the devil. What was he doing in the dark? Yeah, what, what was, was he, he doing, doing in the dark? dark? Why did I always go back to him? What was he doing in the dark? Wait, so, so he wasn't, he wasn't, um, what they call it, when he get out of himself? What was he saying he was doing? Meditating? Just, he 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 just know he don't praise God. He don't praise God as much as he say he do. Just That's know why that. Korea always said he was always evil and angry because she she said, "Why can I have a good spirit if you love the same God I love?" He's I, I heard he's a Just Mason. He don't they said Mason. Is it true that. that Masons are evil or something? I don't know. I don't no. know if that's true. Or not. But they try to make it. They say he's a Mason it, or something. I don't know. Maybe crazy. a Muslim. No, they say he's a Mason or something. True. It don't matter. Don't don't matter. Get away from All I know is his ex-girl said, but don't come to me with that. It don't matter what stuff. you pray. You can say you praise Jesus. You a demon, you a demon. You fucked up you on the inside. Facts. Fucked up on the inside. Facts. And the I'm most religious to folks be the most fucked up. You ain't lying. I don't, I don't do that. Them is my real brothers. Like Mason, them is my brothers. Well, y'all heard Boss Life said it. She came up here and cussed me out, but y'all heard her say what he was so doing. So Masons aren't evil. Well, it's just the people. Masons, no, my they are not too, evil. I was no, they star. are not. No, they are not. I'm not going to sit there and let y'all not now that. I'm not going to sit on here and stand for it. Now, maybe they lodge or whatever they're in, whoever their commander is. But no, y'all not going to sit on here and talk about my bros like that. No, because I'm from, I'm look to the east, my nigga. No. Why do y'all gonna... feel like, that's a, listen, Are the same way they feel like voodoo I is am. evil. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm I like am. the exactly. original, hey, the, uh, the hey, origin sis. with with voodoo is not evil you get what i'm saying so i feel like certain people they get a misperception with how it's used you get what i'm saying 
If you go what back to the Caribbean roots, <laughs> voodoo was used to free us free. during slavery. It wasn't nothing intended to be evil. You know what I'm saying? So they try to make it seem like certain things are evil. So I don't be knowing. I'm just a spiritual so person. So do you think like, Charlie, it, it did, it Charlie put a root up on her? Um, Charlie? Yeah, it depends if, on if the he, person. If she said huh? that he worshipped somebody different in the dark, do you think he could have put something on some of these women where they don't have want to leave him? Girl, it's clearly some type of, I believe in spiritual ties. It, even just opening, it, yeah. let's talk about it. Even opening up your legs to a man or anybody in general can lock yeah. spirits, baby. Y'all got to believe in that because that's true. Ain't no yep, such thing as dickmatized. It's not dickmatized. It's called being spiritual transfer. Yeah, like what that. you said? It's niggas out here that just got mojo on them. Soul like, ties, soul ties. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. It ain't a soul tie. You ain't got to cast a spell on the bitch. It's niggas out here that they attract bitches and they come. They ain't got to put no spell on no hoe. They just got it on them. And I didn't seen it first. No, sure, yeah. Wow. No, because I do the little tie spells and do all that. But now nah, some niggas just got it on them. They ain't got to do shit. They ain't got to pray. They ain't got to do shit. Bitches going to flock. And they know it. So they going to take advantage of it. TKL is, is way more darker than y'all think. He's way more crazier than y'all think. And I just want all the women to please stay away from this man. This man is way more evil than y'all think. Sister, they just, just want you, they want you to stand that on that. You get what I'm saying, day, lovely? I was fucked up. Girl, I ran out of that. Let me check in with you, sister. Hold on, real quick, y'all. So what people saying is, okay, they get what you're saying. You move. You move. But they want you to stand on that as well. So how do you feel about that? Will you commit to standing on that? Like, because you're grown. Can't nobody force you. But they feel like, okay, where do we go from here? You saying you want the women to stay away from him. But if they see you lined up with him, dancing for him, calling him daddy Oh, I want to, something about going back home. I know that's a pimp and hoe terminology. Maybe I'm a green bitch. I don't know nothing about the terminologies and shit, honey. Y'all got to translate for me, bitch. I speak English, not ho. I love y'all. No shit. Okay, let me unmute the pimp. The, the reason I, I, I called the rich... Can I talk? The yeah. reason I called TKL daddy was because TKL does not like being called daddy unless you are with him. So basically, I was spitting in his face. Like, nigga, I'm going to call you whatever the fuck you I want to you don't think that boosted his ego, sis? Daddy will boost no, the nigga think, ego. I I'm a nigga. Pissed, I think that pissed him the fuck off when I call him daddy. That turns me yeah. on when people call yeah. me daddy. No, I, no, it doesn't turn TKO. Y'all can go to TKO's live all day. He does not like people calling him daddy unless they're in a relationship with him. So when I called him daddy, I was spitting in his face. Like, bitch. I'm nah, gonna call you whatever the fuck I want to call you, nigga. Admit to these people that you stalk me, that you're obsessed with me, that you follow me every fucking day. That's what I was saying to it was phone. And I was trying to boost my ego at the same time. But we can get him mm. in his life. Do you live in Vegas? Side. Beautiful, but lovely. Do you live in Vegas? You know what I'm saying? You don't yeah. live in Vegas. Hey. Oh, I know it. So so do you it. think that that's who's following you he got somebody didn't following know she stayed you. in Vegas. he has following people you. following me when i come outside it'd be the same car every day they'd be watching me there'd be men watching me i'm not fucking lying bro <coughs> this nigga is fucking wow. crazy as fuck this nigga is crazy as fuck when i used to go to the when i when i left this man I used to be at the strip club. He used to sit outside the strip club. I He used to post on Facebook, why hop in a cab, come hop in the slab. This nigga used to sit outside the strip club every day when I left this nigga. This nigga has been stalking me for years. That's on my son. That's on my son. So I was just trying to prove to y'all that this nigga stalks me. That's all I was trying to do. Was prove to y'all that this nigga stalks me to this day. But don't nobody believe me. So that's what I was all. That that's the only reason I accepted his line. I was just trying to prove to y'all. TKL uses tarot to watch his woman. 
That's right. Whoever said that in the comments. So wow. You need the block. This nigga, him. this nigga it's makes money. Right. You I need. He contacts. Oh. He contacts my family. He had my family turn against me. I lost family. I lost friends. I lost everything because of this nigga. I do not want this nigga. This nigga is a monster. He's a demon. He needs to be in a mental home. I was being nice the other day because I was drunk and I was in a flirty mood and because I'm very forgiving. That's the only reason I was being nice to this dude. Well, if you say you're spiritual, you have to forgive. But you don't exactly. have to forgive. And God told me to forgive him. God told me to forgive him and I do whatever God said. That's me cool. To do. God but you really ain't 100% forgave him. God don't want you to him. God I'm saying, you you ain't forgave him because you're still I'm dancing saying, and trolling. Jesus, you gotta God. leave that alone. You gotta leave that alone. I'm not you ain't forgave. Him no more, but I was just. It's thousands of people. That's every still messing. That's still meddling. I should not not have let these people influence me. I should not have let these people trigger me, but it's thousands of people in my life coming to me every day. T.O. don't want you back. He got a whole nother baby. But this nigga got people outside my house stalking me. So I was just trying to prove a point. Well, you might need to go get people, to the my pride. How does your new boyfriend feel about you talking brave. about him all the time? How does your People new boyfriend come to my life and bring him up <laughs> and it triggers me and then I start talking about him? I was in my life dancing and having fun. Suddenly a whole bunch uh this, this person kept coming up, take all this, take all that, take all this. Then I start talking about him, and then all of a sudden he suddenly lying me. All of a sudden, how you just I, I thought the person that was in my comments was TKO. I was like, are you TKO? Did TKO trolling you? They were trolling me and I should not it. And I'm not cloud chasing. And you guys are after this. What? What can you do to move saying? forward after this? So you know you did. I wrong have a by whole trolling. NBA player. My heart is taken. I told y'all. Yeah, bitch, why did you on his line? Because baby, an NBA player, I'll be sitting <laughs> on some butterfly stairs okay. like I am right now. That part. Like, okay, how did you move forward? Because I wouldn't be giving no fucks. Because baby, I'll be sitting on some butterfly stairs like I am right now, sitting on some stairs. Y'all don't think I got an NBA player? Y'all don't think I have an NBA player? Look at me. Hold on. We not saying you don't. I'm just saying if you did, you wouldn't be giving that attention. I, I love the I dance. I love all that. I'm just saying if you really was with a ball, if you really was with a baller, people uh, telling listen, me I'm lying. Broke, I mean, not you I mean, love the dance. A baller couldn't tell me nothing. <laughs> Shut it to right, it anybody for my ego and for my pride, bro. I told y'all I have. I got ego and pride issues. I got a lot of Leo in my chart. I got a lot of Aries so you know, in my you know, chart. You know, Bigo gonna find your boyfriend and tell him you're still in love with TKO because that's what they do on this. I am so not you... in love with TKO. Y'all know how easy it is for me to get TKO back. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm good. But how does your I don't boyfriend have to have feel no about talking about auditions. him? I can easily just go back to this nigga at any moment, any second, at any hour. So how did your Nothing. boyfriend feel about you talking about him all the time? I don't even talk about him until they bring him up in my life. They constantly okay, well, bring you're gonna have to start ignoring the bullshit because this is six years later. There's nothing a bitch can tell me about a nigga six years later. Nothing. Right. I don't even. I don't even know that nigga. I don't even know what you're talking about. Right. What nigga? Mm -hmm. TKO I, 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 I don't know. Everybody what nigga? Got a dark Who nigga? I, I just want I just wanted my ego boost. But this is a very sensitive topic. That is a very sensitive topic, beautiful lovey. That's a very sensitive topic. I'm not making and your story I'm that you gave. The truth. I believe your story. I believe you wholeheartedly. But for the women that's been through what you've done, been through. It triggered them. So you got to think about the people that went through what you went through and how you lined the same men you said are worded you and these women are triggered I because they've been through that. I didn't me. And I well, you accepted the line. line. And I, I know I should have I thought I should have 
I should have thought there are millions of women watching me and I should have been on point, but I was very, he lied me. I didn't lie to him. I put that on my son. I did not lie to him. Who was in my life? Who was in my life? I did not lie to him. I thought he was lying to me to apologize. I thought he was lying. I didn't know what he was lying to me for. I was curious. I'm a, I'm a very intelligent person. I like to study about anything and everything. I'm a nerd. I wanted to, I was curious. What is he lying to me for? That's the only reason I accepted his line. I was curious. He lied me. Stop saying I lied to him. He lied me. Oh, child. Where'd Charlie go? Baby, I'm eating my soup. My <laughs> olive garden soup. My, my baby. What you eating? What you eating, Charlie? My soup from Olive Garden, child, that I ordered. Oh, early. that's. Oh, I know what soup you Give eating. me a bite through the phone, brother. I know what soup you eating. No, look, my cousin up here, she got it. She, 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 um, I'm just listening. I'm just hey, I, love, I love your cousin, Charlie. I do. She, she, I'm she, yeah, I followed you two years because you're a real one. I followed you. Oh, too, yeah, let me you follow y'all back. Oh, yeah, can y'all follow my cousin Tia B? It's my blood cousin. Yeah. Tia, you need to be a host. You need to get with Charlie and become a host. I've been trying, Lord. Me, you, yes. Charlie, Charlie travel just as me, just as much as I me. Just became yes, a host. Yes, we be on the go. So. But she is a host. I, I so love she Tia. Gonna, she, she put gonna, me on game. Next me. month I'm is going to be a full I'm month for her. You know, so she'll be able Charlie to make does. those. I'm really not a liar. I did not lie to him. Stop saying I lied to him, bitch. Oh. We I'm all gonna lie to your ass. Listen, listen, quit feeding this to these goddamn comments. Okay. Because they missed it. You can't read the comments, baby. We know he lied you. Everybody know he lied you. We knew that. But I'm he molded you, baby. He still hey, won the battle, though. You got tricked. It happened to the best of us. You got to move on. Yeah, but, but he still won because you accepted the line. And he played in your face by saying, baby, you you know the song? We used to listen to this. He started reminiscing, and you fell for well, it. That's why all is he reminiscing? Is that not a sign that he want me back, though? Nah, that's like, the sign he that he want to see if you going to bite the baby. That's bait. a narcissist. You bit it. That's a you bit the bait. You bit the bait. I was fucked yeah. up. Because listen, yeah, he up. did all this and you weren't paying no attention and you was blocked and you didn't chime in. Guess what? This it would have looked all right. I'm about, to, I'm about to block this nigga tonight, okay? I'm about to block this nigga tonight. Listen, right? I ain't got time to be playing with right. you today. It's not about you blocking. I promise you, I'm about you to block this another nigga. Page. Just don't, don't, don't block them for don't us. Don't make another page. No, I'm don't not gonna block him for, for us, me. Though. I don't want this nigga back. He's a monster. I would never go back to this nigga. Right, block him for you. If you really want a peace of mind, you gotta quit reading these comments though, too, baby. Yeah, don't let the people come in your room and get you off track. That's what the big old comments do. Don't don't let them come in your room and detour you. You gotta go, and that's for your son. Don't worry about TKO. They trolling Leah, but she's still <laughs> going on about her life. Just live your life. What's wrong to you? Nah, they said they just keep saying she played in our face. I really feel like y'all think I'm playing. I think she's playing. I think she's telling the truth. I feel like she's still hurt. That's that's just me. I feel like yeah, she definitely is telling the truth. But listen, when I tell y'all my story, that she gave this man, I don't know. Can I tell y'all my story? Can I tell y'all my story? When I first met Tia, I was like, "Damn, this nigga is just trolling." I, I had got fired from a job I was working from for three years. I'm going to get down, Fabi, because Fabi's going to come up. Mute, mute yourself, bitch. I, I mean, who are, you, who are you talking to? I mean, ma'am. Girl, I'm not too sure. Girl, you be too light. Like you know, like you're pimping at me. Hold on. You're pimping at me. Hold on. Mute yourself, bro. I mean, I mean ma'am. Um, when I first met TKO, I had just got fired from a job I was working from, from three years. Um, I really loved that job. I loved the people I worked with. And then I got hired at this new job that I hated. TKO came in as a rescue. He said, we're going to go to LA. 
we're going to become famous rappers. We're going to get this money. He said, you don't even got to sleep with the tricks. They just want your time. And so I fell for that shit. I was young. I was dumb. My mama never taught me no game about men. She didn't give a fuck about me. She didn't give a fuck if I went to school or not. So when I met TKO, that was my only way out. I, that's what I thought. He was my wow. only way out. That was my only way to L.A. Cause I didn't, I didn't have that many friends. I didn't have that many family that supported me in my dreams. I used to beg my mama to take me to modeling school. I used to beg my mama to take me to um, acting school. So I felt TK was my only way out. So with that being said, where like, okay, cat, chime in, baby. Where do we go from here? Like, let's get a conclusion going, y'all. Do you feel like you need closure? Cause like. No, I feel like I'm over TKO, and I feel like I'm just now telling y'all my story. So I feel like y'all are not over it. I feel like y'all need to heal from, from it. I've already healed from it, but I was just telling my story. Y'all asked about my story. Charlie asked about my story. Drama <laughs> asked about my story, and I told it to y'all. But I feel like y'all are just now healing from it. Hmm? I don't know. I feel like I've already healed from it, but I was now just stop it. you my now story. You stop it. You stop it. You said you, you lying. You said you accepted the line because you thought he was going to apologize. Now, had that I had I said case, I you? didn't know what he was going to apologize. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I was curious to why this nigga lying to me, lying to me after I after I did my story. After I told everybody he r word me, why is this man lying to me? Let me see what he got to talk about. I was curious. And me being my natural, flirty, um, sensitive, shy, sweet self, I was nice to him. And y'all took it the wrong way. Because you should never been nice. You should never been involved. That's the whole it's point. It's hard you for me to be mean, y'all. It sounds like hard if he was to, to meet mean. you in person, you would still you would take the bait, like because that was just I would a line never, from social I've already, media. Y'all, the last time I seen him was in Vegas in 2018. I flew out there with my last a thousand dollars. He told me him and Armani was over. He told me it was just gonna be me and him. And when I got up there, he said, oh, Armani's back. Let's go to L.A. Let's get this money. I was like, um, y'all can see the text messages. It's on my profile. If y'all scroll okay. through my profile, y'all will see. I said, I'm good, daddy. I want a husband. Um, But it was nice. I said, I forgot what I said. But I was completely over him after that. Mm. I was complete, like I'm over, I, I haven't seen. I haven't seen. <laughs> so, so I want you to break this daddy shit with him. Break this daddy shit with him. I call him daddy to piss him off, y'all. I'm not, telling you, it's not gonna daddy. piss him off. I'm a man because like I'm gay. Daddy, girl. He does you not call okay, me daddy. Y'all go to TKO's live. I, he does not like being called daddy unless they're together. He does not like being called daddy unless they're together. So I call, he always tell me, don't call me daddy unless we're together. Girl, he don't loves call me being daddy called unless daddy unless we're online, together. So I called him daddy to purposely okay. piss him off, to purposely spit in his face. Me and TK have always done subliminal messages toward each other. We've been doing this since Facebook. We've been doing this for years. I'm an asshole. I called him daddy as disrespect. Definitely reverse psychology because he know how it was looking to from the outside looking in. You calling him daddy regardless of how he feel. From the outside looking in, you calling him daddy after claiming that he R-worded you. It's still very And I didn't think of that. I was drunk. I did not think of that. I did not That's think right. of that. I was fucked up. I had 20 beers. She said she I had 20. Baby, I could drink, but 20 beers? Damn. I had I'm 20 be on the beers flow. that night, y'all. I have a high tolerance. I was fucked <laughs> up. 
I did not think of that. We need fucking beers. Girl, I can barely drink three. I got a deep throat. <laughs> I was full as fuck. You just see my stomach? I'm a beer drinker. I like beer. No I shade. like beer with salt and lime. You want a okay, Corona? But... I got one. You want Corona? Yeah, the Corona. Oh, I don't even drink beer, but she's talking about beer. We're going to get a beer out the fridge. Beautiful, lovely. Uh, no, I'm about to take a like shot. Who wants to take a shot? They feel like you made the si the situation less serious, is what a lot of people are saying. If that makes but sense, but I'm not the one that's going to the police. It's boss life in Korea. So we get that, but your story, story was groundbreaking, and it went from that to lining. And I get what you're saying. You didn't line him, but says he you he played in your face, and you fell for it a little bit. I had a thirty pack of beer, y'all. I had a 30 pack of beer. beer but when do you take accountability? Because when I'm drunk, I don't just go talk to a, a pimp that I don't fuck with. Or I'm not a, but I ain't been in that type I of life. Right. So I, I told y'all it was for so, evil I moves. I like to be <laughs> praised. I got a lot of Leo in my chart. I love for my exes to tell me. <laughs> the that the that. Oh, Jesus. Um, so... I love for my exes to tell me any of my exes. It could be my ex. It could be my neighbor. It could be my mom. I like to be praised. Living in Las Vegas. Wait, do I hear Siri? Siri dropping. Oh Lord, what is this Siri? Start it over. What is this? Who is this? Siri, I know your baby daddy fussing at you, but bitch, play the Siri. Hurry up, because I heard something. Savage. Bro, you got five fucking seconds. Five, four, three, two. Bitch, why are you playing with me, hoe? I know I heard Siri. Am I tripping y'all? I heard something. Somebody. You did hear something about Las Vegas. I heard something. Yeah, girl. I said, bitch, I'm so nosy. I'm like, what? Uh, there's I no really bottle know. opener up in this Airbnb. Baby, where's the bottle? Do y'all know what um a honey jar spell is? Oh, is this a bottle opener? I think this. Do y'all know what a sweetener spell is? Cause then we need to do something in July next month. Only, only spell you need to be looking up is how to quit <laughs> thinking about that shit, baby. I be you should be in bed right now counting basketball. This how you open these? How the fuck you I'm open? Make, I'm making Tyler, music. I'm what making is, movies. What is it? A honey jar. A honey jar spell is when you sweeten up your um. A person, we make them be nice. Beautiful, lovely. I know you in real life. How about you tell everyone that your son was taken from you? Stop lying, and she is not living in Las Vegas. <laughs> son! 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 <laughs> oh, I'm muted. Fuck. Son, come in here. Siri is a lying ass bitch. Son, come come say hi. Okay, go. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Go close your door. Close my door. Okay. That baby look like TKO. No, it don't. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I'm you. playing. <laughs> oh, he's handsome. My son is right there, oh. I'm so is, is that his son? It's not his son. My baby daddy died. Okay. Oh, sorry for your loss. Right. He got killed. <laughs> you should have used that him. opportunity to align him to give him a piece of your mind, and this whole narrative will go completely different from he what you're looking like. like. That is not TKO's son. Okay. Girl, I don't know. I wish if she would have did it the first time, then maybe I feel like now it's kind of like it's too much. Like, I feel like maybe she should just heal properly and, and child. 
It's just a lot of healing. Okay, I, just, I just need help, y'all. When it comes to therapy and all that stuff, I just need help. When it comes to filing paperwork and court documents and all that, I need help. I'm not good at that. I don't like doing it. I'm lazy when it comes to that type of stuff. I, I don't think, help. baby, you can't I, be lazy. I, I with ask your life, Maria for help. With your safety. I'm not perfect. We all got our dark sides. I'm a very sweet, nice person. My dark side, I don't like doing all that paperwork and stuff. <laughs> My thing, I don't like going to the police and stuff. Can y'all, can y'all help me for with that? I asked y'all to Girl, help me with that. Y'all say I'm lazy. I told y'all I was lazy. Okay, well, look, I'm gonna tell you Copy the cheat way. No, that's what she's talking about. She's trying to figure out how to do it. I'm that. not lying for like cloud. how to file a report against CKO. Invited me here and I accept it. I'm not doing anything for clout. Stop calling me a ch clout chaser. I'm just telling y'all my story and telling y'all to stay away from this nigga. You ain't staying away from him. How are you going to convince somebody else to? <laughs> I know I lied him the other day. I was drunk. She was and on I 20 was beers. I was disrespecting his face. Whether y'all know it or not, I was being disrespectful to him. Hold up. We don't, on I, and I don't mean to interrupt y'all, but you saying we you need everybody need to stay away from this nigga, but you just was lined with him. That don't make I sense. And then hold up, wait a minute, hold up, hold up. And then of second of all, second of all, um, Charlie, didn't you do this interview like when was that two weeks ago or or the week before? Y'all know what help. If you needed help, help if you needed help, why you if you needed help, why you didn't get the help then? Why you ain't get the help then? You worse than Krishan and Blueface. Like I'm starting to think that we fucking crazy for listening to this shit. I'm starting to feel like I'm crazy. Like that don't make no motherfucking sense. This been see he pray on the week. That nigga pray on the week. He know who the fuck to do that to. Cause if you was Shaniqua Qua, like I said from the hood, that bitch would have got all that canker line. He would have got all that canker line pulled right from out of his motherfucking head. Okay. All right, let me go. This is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, this no, is I'm, too much. This is now think about the bigger picture though. When I you just told, told y'all why, why y'all not accepting the fuck I ain't lying to y'all. Do you so understand like how many lies? I'm gonna tell y'all the truth all day, every day. I ain't got shit to lie to y'all. When you tell me you real quick. When you told your story, oh, do you realize how many lives you could have possibly touched by telling your story to get them courage to tell their stories? And then and now you're lying with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, just understand, like, the bigger picture. I was like, fucked up. What I is was on 20 beers. That ain't I no was excuse, baby. I, 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 I was on 20 I beers. I had a 30 pack of beers. How many times I got to say that shit? <laughs> That's because I'm drinking the Corona. <laughs> Remember the number you wasn't that drunk. Let me, let me get some corona. Let me get some a little bit. I'm fucked up right now. Girl, you don't need no more. You was on 20 the other let me day. Like, wow. Well, girl, no. no What's up, Ray? No. This is, this is my she second lying. Because the girl that just left from right? up here. Mute her, Charlie, because I'm not going to talk with the slow. Okay, I'll go. I'm going to call I'm my not, day. Y'all can talk. Bit. We all grown. Come on. She got them damn Michael Jackson gloves on, feeling it, and she over there acting like motherfucking Michael Jackson. Look at the crazy bitch. If she would have told her story the right way, like that lady just said, her mother, we would have believed her motherfucking ass. First of all, when a motherfucker get drunk, they can't tell you how many motherfucking bills they done drunk. Second of all, she's sitting over there with them goddamn beauty supply store rhinestones on her goddamn eyelashes, think she eating it I up. I got this from the bitch. dollar store. Well, that you still look a fucking mess. You look like a dollar trick, and that's why TKO tricked your ass. Cause bitch, he knew you was slow. He knew he you know he wasn't gonna get no money on you. And you talking about daddy? Cause bitch, I you trying to get back over, over there dollars, and get okay. some more money. 
you trying to go back over there. You are clout chasing. Motherfucker would have really believed you because it is people that's really got real issues, that's really got real abusive shit going on. Bitch, and ain't you sitting nobody up fucking here playing in 2000. You think I'm lying you to you, bitch? Ain't nobody you fucking is. lying to you, you Because you just said you were fucked fuck up. Now. How, if, phone, you know, if you so fucked up, how you holding a, a, a conscious conversation with all these people in the box? Exactly. How you keeping up with the conversation? Bitch, I'm way smarter Bitch, you can't be smarter. You retarded. You retarded. You done got off your meds right, and you mixing that shit with goddamn milk. You. Let's have and a debate. Who's smarter, man? Who's smarter, man? What you know about soul ties? What you know about soul ties? What you know about soul ties? You know about soul ties? Clearly, you've been talking, saying the same shit for the last three hours, and you okay, done went from so twenty how bills I, uh, to thirty how bills. How bills. You ain't need to take your goddamn child because you don't need to be on live. You been on live longer than you to ask about your child. The only time you called for your child was to ask your child to make sure you stayed in the house. Fuck out you, bitch. What's up? The only time you called for your child was to see if he was in the house. The only time you called for your child was to see the goddamn for clout. You ain't called and asked your child that he wants to be here. Wait, did she just say? Hold on, let's let her finish. Hold on, Ray. Go ahead, lovely. Finish what you were saying. I pimp the fuck out of you, bitch. Bitch. Oh, my son was born the same day as Michael Jackson. Huh? You want to talk about the glove, bitch? I cried when Michael Jackson died. That's the only celebrity I ever cried about, ho. And the only reason I'm wearing these gloves because I ain't had no. Girl, you just said you a TKO her. Lovely, lovely. I pray for healing. I pray for, let me let me just do something different. Instead of going off as my Gemini self, let me do something. Everybody bow your heads, close your eyes. See, this is how you know I'm changing. <clears throat> Dear God, I bind up that evil spirit, God. I rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Girt her spirit up and strengthen her, God, to know that you do not need a man for strength and love. Give her peace, God, that surpass every understanding that I can ever know. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Motherfucker, don't you ever motherfucker play with me. Girl, why the fuck you playing with me? God, please keep me near the cross, God. I'm working, I'm changing. God, he loves me. I'm peaceful and I'm calm. Yeah, you playing No shade, but they really she don't need to be watching no children with that type of behavior. Her behavior. Hey, hey, don't ever talk settling. about me it when it comes very, to kids, bitch. I'm great it when it comes to kids. Unsettling. Everybody told me I should it's be a daycare teacher. You. Everybody and told y'all need a somebody don't need to reevaluate you kids, because you bitch. have not checked don't on your son and you got multiple personalities and it is something clearly wrong with you. She and something wrong, up, clearly right? wrong with you. You ain't got no something fucking clearly life, wrong bitch. with you. What you mad because you I'm telling time, you the bro? truth. The truth hurt. You mad because I'm telling you the time, truth. Huh? The truth hurt. The truth hurt. You sitting over here crying about a pimp that don't want your ass with your child in the Lord for the last two hours. Want my head. <laughs> this a crazy motherfucker, y'all. You're a Gemini like me. You saw how I went through my little rant, child. <laughs> Girl, you gotta quit doing that. You look fucking psycho. This nigga you got tired of you do the I don't know what the fuck I do not want TKO stop embarrassing me. I don't even want to claim this nigga no more, bro. I don't even want to claim this nigga no more. Stop saying I want my ex back. I don't want him. I don't want him. I put that on my soul, on my soul, on my soul. Charlie, play that song. Then you just make a I song mean, like I, that, Charlie. I, mean. I do not want this nigga, bro. Please stop saying that. Please stop saying that, y'all. Please. Do you regret lining him? At least? Yes. Like, if you had to I do, him, I do, I do now. Yes. This is my first beer. I'm trying to see if this gonna get me drunk. Take 
like take get about three or more though. Get about I would three, be drunk three, like you. Get about you three, four perfect, more though. Perfect bitch. I ain't gonna lie, lovely. You the perfect bitch a nigga want though. You really hey. are. What? <laughs> you the perfect bitch a nigga want. I know, but I don't want them. <laughs> yeah, me, me neither. Me you do. Neither. You just got an NBA player. What you talking about? Hold on now. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, I want. I do want that nigga. Cause Ooh. I want my NBA player. You playing? Cause no, 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 no. Oh, oh, why my phone that. had died? Why we still on here? <laughs> mm, thank God I put nigga. it in resting. I do want that nigga. Not beautiful, I lovely. Got... You just literally are the definition of psyche man, make your booty shine. That's what you just did on us. You played in our face. Literally. Wait, what? Why, how do I play in your face? Did, did you just the definition of what laughing? Huh? What did I say that was a lie? You are the literal definition of psyche man. Oh, you play way too many games. You, you are, are singing playing. in my face. You are playing. In you my you face. playing way too many games. Hey, cat, you playing way Had too many your games. Phone. Hey, baby, I'm not playing. Y'all, I told my story, bro, and I told y'all the truth. I did not lie to y'all about my story. Just That's because I was being cordial like with a nigga, closure. just because I was like, being nice to be a nigga, true. I have a nice spirit. I have a nice soul. I'm very forgiving. I've forgiven this nigga over uh, 10 years ago. Y'all are just now hearing my story. Y'all are just now taking it in. So it's hurting y'all. It's not hurting me. I've already forgiven. I've already healing. I've already went through the pain. I've already went through crying every day. Oh, God. I've already oh. went through that. I've already forgiven this man. I've already talked to God. God told me to forgive him. I've already had. Just because I'm just okay, now so telling y'all my story and y'all just now going through it and y'all have not forgiven him doesn't mean I have not. I was just trying for women to stay away from him because I don't want y'all to go through what I went through. But I have already forgiven this man. But for you know, lining him, lining him, lining him after you telling people he lined to me. stay away. I was curious, and I wanted my ego boosted, and I wanted to prove a point because nobody believes that this man is stalking me. Nobody right, believes that this you really man proved is his point. To watch me, so I was just trying to prove a point that this man want me back. That's the only reason I accepted his line. It's not because I was thing. standing in your face. But the it's only thing I was that he... trying to prove a point in which I should not have listened to the comments. I fucked up on that part. I should have not listened to the comments. I should have not but... tried to prove a point. That was my ego. You know I what? You don't like line, but how did the conversation go after y'all lined each other? Like, how did that go? How long did that last? Daddy. Hey, daddy. Okay. Oh. Everybody start cussing me out. No, you gonna put your stuff in I don't talk to him know. after that. I don't talk to him on the phone. I don't talk to this nigga. But you just I do don't you talk realize to this you open a door. You open a door. You open an accessible door. Just because you forgive somebody, that don't mean access. That don't mean give them access to you after what they've already done. I feel like but Cass, he, he made her free spot them trying to line you, but that don't necessarily mean line him. Like that don't mean you have to line. That's not proving the point. That's really like you really disappointed so many people. Like. I ain't really hear your story. I heard like you know bits and dabbles of it, but that wasn't a smart move, baby girl. Especially if you're talking now. It about wasn't. It wasn't. It was. It was. It was my ego. It was my pride. I was just trying to prove a point that this man is still obsessed with me. He still stalks me, and I I fucked up by trying by by accepting his line. I fucked up. So. So why are you beefing with Boss Life and y'all got the same issue? Why are you and Boss Life beefing? I don't know why she came up here tripping. I think she was doing that for clout. I don't I don't know. She Tell me wish I can get her back in here. She she even inboxed yeah, inbox me out telling out me. Here. Let me share it. Boss her. Life inboxed me and told me if you want to talk, we can talk. I don't understand where this beef came from. It came out of nowhere. She might be drunk. I don't know what's wrong with Boss Life. Oh, no. I got her one. too. She still hurt. But you too. just told these people she gave him thirty thousand dollars. Because I was I was fighting back. 
Like she was coming after me. Both they they were both coming for her. Each other. She was saying stuff in the comments, so they both was nitpicking. They both was coming for I each came other. After so her, I she came that. after me. I fight back. I ain't just gonna let a bitch talk shit to me. Y'all got one like, thing I'll be, in I'll be her Y'all both got y'all like, booked with by the same man. <laughs> I ain't never lost a fight got... to no woman. I'll beat your ass in real life. I lost plenty of fights. I just feel like y'all shouldn't shame each other because you but, said you gave but him a million. Both got so, so, I don't know why y'all beat him. Well, I don't know why she came after me, so I came back. Me too, Kat. Well, I won fight. I know how to fight. I know how to fight. I know how to fight. Yeah, I lost one fight with Savannah, but I beat that bitch when I lost. When so I was on the ground, I was fighting that house. Can't beat them, bite them. That bitch is a man. She is a man. But I, I just came after her. She, I didn't know me and Boss Life had a problem. She followed me. She be coming in my life. I don't understand where any of that came from. Boss uh, Life still be defending TKO, too, because I said something I to her. She she I guess she mad because I accepted TKO's So run. do you feel like these bitches that he got uh -huh. now taking your spot? You know, like all bitches that he I got now, like you feel like they taking your spot. Me you feel like they should still because there is only one me. Yes, that's why he keep trying to find girls that are fine. So you nine. think he looking he for you to find girls that are female? He was y'all watch his live. Y'all can see that he keeps trying to find girls that are just like me. Do y'all not see how shells looks like me? I don't see it, but I don't see it, but I, I mean, see that he tall, go out the light she, she tall and she tall and she tall and she got the same view right, you, so I can see that. Y'all ain't got to blame me. Yes, go. I don't he got care. a type. I don't care about the comments no more. No, nah, he that ain't got no type. It's just the dookie type. That might be something that's just in your mind. Or maybe he got a type. What's the purpose of a, of a, of a not type? Like you? No, nah, baby, he do kind of got a type. He usually like light skinned women. The darker skinned women that he bring in, he treat them more like trash. He treat all of them trash, let's be clear. But I don't know if y'all know this. Peepy, Yetta, Korea, Beautiful Lovely, his baby mama, um, Island Girl, like, mo you get it. Like, most of them are lighter. Like, they may not be light-skinned red bone, but they're lighter brown, lighter something. Armani, lighter. You get what I'm trying to say? True, <clears throat> but when did he go over, cross over to the white girls? I never saw one of the white girls. Um, oh, I no, I don't know. I, but, I, girl, he had TKO white hoes back in the day, sis. I've been with TKO okay. for years, y'all. He's had dark-skinned women. He's had mm -hmm. light-skinned women. He done had TKO, a little bit of everything. TKO does not have a taste. He will fuck anything. Money don't got no face. No shade. Make that, more that money in that, Vegas. They make more money in Vegas. That's why he chooses light-skinned women. Money, he likes anything. Yeah, I've heard that y'all are money women, makers. Monsters, he likes everything. He will fuck anything. Clearly. It doesn't matter if you're dark, it doesn't matter if you're light. He cho he purposely chooses light skinned women because they get more money in Vegas. That is well, the can you be honest reason. with us about one thing? That does make sense. I got one question that a lot of people have been wanting to know, and we've asked I, I've heard people ask Korea, I've heard people ask Boss Life. I sure do. Have you ever experienced wh where he wanted a man? I have. Um, oh, I. Um, oh, I. I, just I tried to. I. I. I tried to. When I was young, I used to ignore the red flags. Um, I. I was young, dumb, and in love. And he was like, we. We was in Texas. We seen a transvestite prostitute. He was like, we should get her. She will make a hell of a lot of money. And I looked at him sideways, and my intuition said, this nigga gay. But I chose to ignore that. So, Well, I kind of figured that he liked Lowe because he got mad at our money that one time for misgender and Lowe. So I, I just wanted to know your side because when they asked Korea, she just looked up and never said anything. And that, to me, was, yeah. You know, so I wanted to see if you had an experience like that. Thank you. I promise y'all, I am not lying Kat, to y'all. Cat making some ugly faces. Cat, you are crazy. I'm, I'm telling y'all this. Cat, I am telling y'all. Y'all know truth. I'm a. 
I'm a visual. When we was in, when we I'm was in not, Texas, I, I'm envisioning this shit. Like, when we, was, we was in Texas, y'all. I was dancing at DGs. Have y'all heard of DGs in Dallas? He was I've talking about DGs recently. Oh, yeah. I was dancing mm -hmm. at DGs. We seen a trend. A uh, a uh, a gay man walk by. He was like, we should get hurt. You, you know, transvestites, they make a lot more money. We would get so much money. And y'all, wow. I, I love money. Me and TK was all about the money back then. And he was like, we should get hurt. My intuition was like, this nigga gay. But I I, I chose to ignore it. What you think on that, cat? What's your take on that? Because your face is giving. I'm just listening. <laughs> I'm just listening. I thought she was gonna say I something thought, about y'all. I am not lying to like y'all. Like, has he ever been pegged by you or like bent over or anything like that? He, that's what I'm trying to. Like, that's what not, I thought she was I gonna say. He's never pegged me, but he's fucked me in my ass many times. Oh, this this is well, I was always told if a man want to screw a woman in the backside, that they sleep my on a man. My aunt told me that too, and I should have listened to her. I should have listened to her. My aunt said, I've if a man want to put that. it in your ass, he's gay. I hear that from gay men that say that a But man is that always about... true? Because I thought true right. daddy, I no, true daddy get him. his ass ate, right? Or, I don't That's know. disgusting. Well, he's gay, too. <laughs> well, girl, I am gay, and I like my ass ate. But anyways, my man, y'all. Um, yeah. <laughs> sure. Have you pegged I've him? never pegged Lovely. TK I don't know. Tico, he watches a lot of porn, so he learns new things. He has never asked me to put his fing my finger in there. He has never asked me to do none of this weird shit that he... Like, Tico was cool back in the day, y'all. He has never been on this weird shit that he's on now. So did he Did he, he have you not taking showers like the other women? No, he did has he like never you to be asked me not... He has never asked me not to take a shower, but he asked, boss he did right ask here. me Come to up, shit on his dick, though. I think, I don't know where this came from. You did it. Boss Life, she was basically did saying she don't understand why it's beef. She don't understand why you came in the comments coming at her. I don't, I don't, I don't understand why she shit came on at her. It's simple. Um, oh, shit. Girl, that's something that was Oh, God. That's something oh, God. that was number. Somebody help I don't me. remember. Can you just opened up a can of water? What's up, Boss Life? Hey, boo. Welcome back to the panel. Um, I unmuted you. You are. I think you self-muted. But um, I, yeah, you self-muted.